Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina, and I run a website called the QuickBooks University, which is at qbuniversity.org, uh, where we have 37 full-length uh, training tutorials on QuickBooks that show you literally every aspect of what you need to know uh, to use QuickBooks. Plus, we also have a, a members-only forum where I personally answer all of your questions. So uh, head on over there and, and check us out. Uh, this video, though, I wanted to show you uh, how to enter your sales in QuickBooks because there's generally two ways. You know, in business, you either get paid immediately or you send out invoices and get paid later. Okay, and in QuickBooks, there's two different ways to enter those sales. Okay, the first one is when you get paid immediately, you want to use a sales receipt. And the other one, when you invoice somebody, you want to use an invoice. Okay, it's fairly self-explanatory. But let me show you here. Uh, if, if you uh, want it, let, let's say that you get paid immediately and we want to enter a sales receipt. Uh, there's two ways to get to it here. One, you've got the home screen. You can go to here, create sales receipts. Or you can go to the customer's drop-down menu, enter sales receipts. Okay, either way is fine. So we'll go here. And it brings up the form. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill out and you're going to say, let's say that uh, Christy Abercrombie, uh, we, do, we don't want to select outstandable, outstandable, outstanding billable time and expenses. We're just going to charge her for concrete slab. And we want to get paid immediately. Okay, so let's say it's $500. This is okay. We're changing the standard price, and she owes us 500 bucks. Okay, and that's it. Now you can print this. You can email it. And now this is assuming that this is going to get paid immediately. Okay, so let's say that she paid us by check, and there was check number one, two, three, four, and we're going to hit save and close. We don't need a class for this example. Okay. So she paid us immediately. So there's no invoice out there. It's just that she paid us right then. Now, if I go to my chart of accounts here, I'm going to show you. Uh, there should be an undeposited funds account right here. And that money is not showing up in the undeposited funds. Okay, now why is that? Oh, here it is right here. Okay, 12.15.07. There's a, a preference in QuickBooks you can set up to have it go to undeposited funds, and then you have to make the deposit from undeposited funds to the bank, or you can have it go straight from the bank to the bank. Now, the preference in here is set up to go to undeposited funds. Okay, so you want to check those preferences to make sure you know exactly where the money is going in your QuickBooks file. Okay, now the second way, let me close this, is an invoice. All right, now an invoice is when you're going to bill somebody and they're going to owe you the money. Okay, so if we go back to the home screen here, uh, you'll see there's an invoice button here, or again, you can go to the customer's drop down menu and uh, you can invoice for time and expenses, uh, or you can just create invoices. Okay, so let's go here. We'll say just create invoices. Okay, now the form it brings up is very similar to the, the, the sales receipt. Okay, so this time if we choose her, uh, we're not going to go against the estimate. We're not going to include outstandable, outstanding billable time. And this time if we do a, let's say, blueprint changes, one, and it was 200. Okay, and then there's tax on that, so we save and close. We don't need a class right now. Okay, so what did this do? Well, this, this instead of putting it to undeposited funds or your checking account, increases your sales, your revenue, and also increases accounts receivable. Okay, so again, if I go back to the chart of accounts and look under accounts receivable, we are going to see where we build her there it is right there, $215.50. It was $200 plus the tax of $1550. So this increased our accounts receivable. And now if we go to receive the payment for Christy Abercrombie, we're going to see here's our invoice right here, $215.50. Okay? 
because she owes us that money. All right, so those are the two ways to, to uh, record sales. You have a sales receipt when you get paid immediately, and you have an invoice when you're going to get paid in the future. All right, so come on over and, and uh, check out the 37 full-length videos at the QuickBooks University, again, which is qbuniversity.org, uh, where you're guaranteed to learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks from start to finish. And uh, we will see you in another video.